Well, congrats on another big victory. Uh, it seems like you were maybe too happy with some of the punches you took in that fight, though. Uh, to be honest, I don't get hit that much, but, you know, Thibaut Guti was really tough today. He came here to die, you know, and this makes guys dangerous. Yeah, definitely. And you beat him up pretty good in there, especially in that third round. Uh, were you surprised the ref didn't stop it when he was turning his back and running away and fell over and everything? To be honest, uh, it was uh, like he, he let him, he, I don't know, some guys they would stop, you know, it was not the championship fight, not main event, like it, it could be a late, like, I don't know, man, it was not a good stoppage, I think, like he could f stop it, but I'm happy, you know, so I, I got some more octagon experience and it makes it worth. Yeah, does any part of you like feel bad when you're in there and it's like the guy, you know, is very obviously done, but he's super tough and he just can't get put away. The ref won't sit protect him for you. Like what's going through your mind in that time? Does any part of you feel bad for continuing to inflict damage? <sighs> to be honest, this is the best thing what can happen for me because it gives me a lot of experience, you know. I'm ju I just turned 23 two months ago, you know. It's my <coughs> second fight this year and I'm really, I'm really young in the sport, you know. I just started a few years ago with no background and it gives me some good experience, you know. And this fast finish, of course, they taste good, you know, but they don't give you octagon experience, you know. This is how we develop as a fighter, and yeah, I'm happy. You said coming into this uh, that it was the best camp you'd ever had. Yes. Um, you know, do, you, do you feel like having played it out the way it did, that that was accurate? To be honest, not. I came here more prepared than against the Akisi, you know. But this is what makes the sport really, really special, you know. The fight, it's always different. He, he was a big underdog today. I think at like minus 1,000, but uh, you can see like underdogs, they can give you tough competition. Sometimes the underdogs, they win and uh, yeah, I love it. You know, I think I grew, I grew today as a fighter and looking forward to the future. I know you took uh, damage, you mentioned the nose. Do you have any other injuries, any, anything that occurred during To time? be honest, I don't even feel my face. I just uh, want to check how I look, but I think I broke my thumb in the first and also good experience. I don't think anything is bad what happens in the octagon. Everything is uh, how you say win or learn, you know. Gives me good experience and let's see. Did you, did you feel it go in the first or? Yeah, for sure. It was, it was like a shock. Like, you know, when you get electricity, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think it was the overhand and it was tough, man. <coughs> Thank you, T-Bolt. Yeah, is that something that you think might require surgery or if it's a serious break? Does it concern you? You might be out for a while waiting for that to recover? No, I think I just need to go back home. Make an x-ray, you know, I think thumb is not that bad, I, can, I still can move it, but as you see, it's a little bit swollen here, mm -hmm. but let's see. Yeah. Gonna be back in the gym as soon as possible. Yeah, and you're a very highly touted prospect right now after the win over DKZ and then tonight. Do you feel that? Do you feel kind of that a lot of eyes are on you and people are starting to, you know, get expectations for what you have to do in the future and you know what you could be? Like I said in the Octagon, I don't want to fly too high. You see these young guys, they get crazy after one win, you know, they hype too much. I, I really think I don't want to be too big, like, you need to back a hype up, you know. These guys, they build hype, but they don't back it up because they get lazy in training, you know. So I take it slowly. If they want to promote, it's good. I, I bring exciting fights, you know. But my job is not to, to, to promote myself in social media. My job is to train in the gym, make good fights, and this is what makes you popular, right? Yeah. Um, what kind of fight would you like next? I mean, do you want a quick rise? Like, do you want to fight, start fighting ranked guys now, or do you think... You know the slow and steady kind of approach would be better. Whatever the UFC and my management and my team decides, this is the best for me. You know, they know they are the best. They are the professionals. It's their job to to decide that. My job is to prepare to become better and win fights. Last fight was in Hamburg. This time here in Moncton, you're training at a TriStar. What was it like fighting in Canada? Of course, it was an amazing experience. Like I said, you know, I just turned 23. I take whatever comes to my way. I take it as a good experience. You know, for me, it's not only because of it's not all about fighting for me it's, it's like a life lesson you know i grow as a human here in this octagon and uh, just 23 you see you see these guys they work in the office the whole life they don't uh, make experience in life and i think when i fight uh, around the world i make the best experience uh, you know we just live once so it's nice two fights in 2018 two wins i mean depending on what happens with your thumb who knows but how many times a year would you like to fight to be honest i just love this sport you know I love it, like, I love to train, I love, I, love, I love to improve as a fighter, I love this experience to fight, you know, as soon as possible, you yeah, go back to the gym, we need to fix some, some things up, the journey is endless, you know, and back to the improvement. Thank you. Thank you, guys.